Making a book trailer is a great way to sell more books. Now, while we may love to create and publish our own books, most authors aren't too big on the whole marketing and promotion aspect of self-publishing books, but we all want to sell more books. So what are we gonna do? The key is to get our books more visibility. And as a culture, very little is better at capturing and keeping our attention like video. This is why making a book trailer can be a great opportunity for you. But I'm not just gonna throw out some tips on how to make a book trailer. No, 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 you deserve way better than that. A couple weeks ago, I had Kathleen from BookBrush come on the show and we talked about a content templates on BookBrush. While she was here, she also showed me how simple making a book trailer can be on the platform. Take it away, Kathleen. Book trailers are a game changer, let me tell you. Yes, they are. There are not a lot of marketing um, platforms that put all of these things in one toolbox for authors. So yeah, let's go look at book trailers. Uh, you will find those if you go to tools in the top stripe and right down to the trailer creator. And when we did the A plus content, we were using a community template. I feel like that's a good choice here in the, the uh, trailer creator too. So you'll see these different community templates I'm gonna click one here. And before we get started, I'm just gonna push play so you can see what we've got um, already here for you and then we'll edit it and make it our own. So I'm gonna push play. All right, we'll pause it there. It's got a few more seconds, but that is already all set for you. And it's super easy to edit and personalize for your series or your genre. So let me show you how we would do it for, I wanna do a children's book. I'm in love with your children's books. Thanks. Yeah, that sounds great. Okay, I'm gonna click get started at the bottom. And then you really just work your way across. So it says trailer elements in the lower left. The first thing that's highlighted is this music note. And then underneath it says, replace this audio or leave it. So of course I'm gonna to wanna to change everything about it. Right. Over on the left, we have over 100 types of commercial free music. And these are organized by bright, emotional, epic, romantic, dark. So I think for children, we would wanna go with bright, but I don't want you to miss the My Music tab. So this is pretty cool because it's the only place in Book Brush that you can upload your own audio file. So while it can be music, I want you to think outside the box too, because it could be just any type of audio file where like um, you could be speaking. So you could read a blurb, oops, I'm tripping on my words. You could read a blurb from your book, or if you have um, an audio, a clip of audio from the person who does your audio, you could upload that too. So tons of choices. That's great. We'll click on bright and just listen to some of the sample ones. I don't know about jungle juice. Let's go to the next one. We'll see. Let's say we like this one. We'll push, it's called flavor. We'll push the plus button. You get the confirmation at the bottom. It was successfully replaced. You could work your way through a ton of them and find something. Right. We'll go with that for now. And then you'll click next. And then this is where you're going to personalize for your um, theme or your genre. So you're going to replace this background video. Over on the left, there are actually four tabs. So the first two have a little video camera. So you can search for videos or you could actually upload your own videos. So this would be cool if you videoed the softball game if we were doing that theme. Right. Um, and then on the next two tabs, you can search for static images or upload your own. And those will still have animation added, so they're not completely static. But I'm going to search. Um, let's try, I'll try children for now and see what we get here. I'm going to add, we'll add this one here. So the spinning globe will be the first one. Then you'll go across the bottom. You really just work your way across. So we'll click next. And you would need um, four blurbs or passages. I'm not going to change that, but I do want to show you when you go into font, this is really a hidden gem. You can click at the top, add more fonts, and you can filter in here um, by, at the top, by display, serif, those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go for handwritten because I feel like we could find some that are more um, childlike or, you know, um, would suit this. So let's go across. 
there are some super fun ones in here. I think it's on the next one. Okay, so third one down on the right. I'm not sure what cooler font name could be than Annie Use Your Telescope. Like that's super cute. <laughs> um, cute. School Bell. So um, since we're going for the children's book theme, I feel like those might suit. Um, you also have the option here to upload your own custom font. So if you purchase the font that's on your book covers, you could upload that so you would have that same look and feel across your whole marketing platform. But I'm going to close out of here. And then for font, I'm going to click and you'll see it says on the left, just added fonts. So they're super handy. If we want to use any use your telescope, it's in here and I can increase the size and I can still do some editing like I can move it around in there, but we'll just kind of leave it as it is. Then we'll click next at the bottom and we'll pick a different children video here and then next. So I'm going to just change the font to each to so it matches each time and we right. can make each one like let's go a little larger. And you can move it if you want it to be somewhere different too. Click next. So we did videos on the first two. So let's go over to just image. And how about playground? We'll see what we find here. Oh, there's a lot of fun choices. I like those swings. They had those when I was a kid, which has been a little bit. <laughs> we'll click next. Change our font again. Make it a little bit bigger. And I should mention, <clears throat> you can do, you can click more options and do the full text editing, but we're in easy mode and we really want to keep it easy for your brain. So I kind of like the fewer options. So it's not overwhelming. Like you can get in here and do a quick book trailer, but it's there if you want to get crazy. Yeah, that's, click, that's great. Click next and we'll do this digging one here. And um, we could just substitute this book, um, but I want to do the physical book because, so let me show you how if you just swap it out, it's going to swap for what's right there. I'm going to go in and actually show you how you can add a different one. So we have that square size. It would just populate right in here. I'm going to actually delete and we're going to switch for just a second into advanced mode so you can toggle easily from easy to advanced. And this is why easy mode's great because look what all, is all done for you behind the scenes. This whole timeline where the passages are set up to hide and then zoom in and so forth. But you can add. So we're going to go to book and we'll go into children's. I'll make my timeline a little smaller. And then we'll grab a square size and put in this one. And when you first add it, it would actually be on every image. And so you'll need to add animation, which is super easy. We're going to double click. It's in the timeline down here. I'm going to click plus. And then the animations are over here on the left. And we could actually have it fade. Oops, not fade out. I want it to fade in. We'll change it. We'll take this one off. And then in the timeline, we're just going to scoot it where we want it. So you can see those four different um, video and backgrounds at the top. So we're going to just right. move it so it appears kind of there. And then I'm going to get safely back to easy mode in the top stripe. So let's um, check out our handiwork here. We'll push play. <laughs> that so this image has just that animation effect in the background and you could actually move it around if you wanted to position it a little bit different same with these if you want to scoot it around move this so it'll actually fade in wherever you want as well right. as we can resize because we want this to be the star of the show so we'll scoot it back just a tiny bit and push play. All right. So, hey, we just made a children's book trailer. Yeah, that's great. Um, I, I like how I love how you can do easy mode because I know how overwhelming it could be for uh, for people who aren't familiar with, you know, editing videos or editing things like that. Uh, but it's nice to know that just a click of a button and we can go to the advanced if we need to. Um, yeah. And then even Absolutely. That, I mean, as you're playing, as you're actually playing it, you can still make changes on the fly. 
So yep. Yep. So you can keep editing away. It's so flexible and it's not going to look like anybody else's. So don't be scared of those community templates. Um, this looks nothing like that first when we played. We were able to personalize it really nicely for a children's book. And you could do it for, you could make it sci-fi, romance, all kinds of things. Kind of tempted to do a softball one when we're done too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it's, you know, and, and for some people who kind of what you're talking about is, you know, people who are, um, reluctant to try something that's already custom made or already um, a template set up, you know, sometimes it's better to have something visual in front of you to start with than just that giant blank screen. Um, it's, you know, a blank screen can be really overwhelming. So um, I like that there's something there that can already get your, uh, your thoughts flowing. So that's great. Absolutely. We, we love the book trailers. Um, we've seen a lot of cool things coming out of there. So definitely a game changer. Absolutely. I bet. Once again, I want to give a huge thank you to Kathleen from BookBrush for showing us how easy making a book trailer can be. Remember when you go to BookBrush to use the coupon code Wheeler15 to get 15% off your purchase. Now, book trailers are just one way to get your book more visibility. Another great way to be seen more, especially on Amazon, is with your keywords. Check out this video right here where I show you some of the updates that they've done to publish a rocket. Now, if you've already seen that video or maybe you're not ready for that yet, well, then check out this video right here that YouTube says is perfect for you. I'll catch you in one of these videos and remember to write right.